All right, what is going on guys? We got a 2025 Skidoo here. That Skidoo was so nice enough to let us take out for the first ride. I think we're one of the first ones getting out on one. So uh, let's go out on our 2024 that's been sitting in our garage. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of funny. We're getting out for the first ride on this and the 25s have already been released. This has been uh, kind of hiding in the garage, waiting for the right day to take it out. And I guess today's that day. Back on a mountain sled today with a turbo that you can actually hear. It was fun trail riding, but uh, we'll get back to our real love here. <laughs> I really hit Ontario at the perfect time though, because all that snow that came when I was there is already pretty much melted. I can tell you I already feel way more at home on this sled compared to the Lynx. I did kind of forget how little snow there is here though. I didn't really specify, but there's pretty much no difference between this 2024 here and the new 2025s that were released the other day. Which is great, then I don't have to upgrade. I don't know which way to go here. Grab it! We also don't know where we're going here today. I mean, we do and we don't. We've never been here before. Looked at it on the map, it looked good, so here we go. hard. <laughs> Snow is really weird up here. It's like dense. <laughs> but hard underneath. So much for that visibility. Oh, it's just higher. Yeah, it's higher. We got more to go. I thought it was poking out there for a second. We were kind of following the trail. Now we've got off of it. That is slippy. Yeah, Jason, Cody, Hugo. How's your vacation? I mean, going back to work. Oh, that was not a vacation. It sucked. <laughs> it sucked to see your family? No, that was nice. And I didn't feel like I was missing anything with the snow you guys had. So I guess. I think it smells hot. 13 kilometers. We're not being gentle on it. I think we just keep cutting across the side hill and we don't really want to climb. Not see. Wow, it's. <laughs> Can't 
can't believe how foggy it is. Hi! I feel so disoriented in here today. I might even have to get up top to get over this cliff band. That's where I headed when I seen you come down. Oh. Unless we could get through right here. Because I think lower it doesn't look good either. No, uh, me and Cody went down there. Oh. Like o over there? Uh, over there. Oh. Hugo's coming when you can hear the <laughs> Here's radio. <laughs> Got some interference there, but the radio station you listen to. <laughs> nice goggles, Bob. Moment off before I do that stupid thing again. <laughs> ah. It's a little cliff bend right here. Got to try and find our way around it somewhere. I think we'll be going down. Oh. Great visibility down here. <laughs> we just climbed that little bit and it's shit. Looks beautiful out right here. Every mountain has sun over there <laughs> and we have clouds. Did I dodge you there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. I'm yeah, you're impressed with it? I'm really good. I mean, good traction underneath, but it's working. <laughs> definitely tell it's getting deeper up here. I'm struggling a little more on the 146 turbo. We're exactly where we want to be. Yeah. Oh, someone's right on our ass. Hugo. I'm pretty sure you hooked up better with that trap. <laughs> yeah? Are you spinning lots? Got one really steep line. I was like, Beside your track, yeah, I just it just spun. Really, and I didn't think I was gonna make it, so I turned out. Never thought I was spinning out because it was too hard. Like I was just hooking up. Want to try it? All right, now. All right, be that way. <laughs> Some downies here. Should we wait? We continue down this mellow stuff for a bit, and then there's one steep spot. You just mirror the snow feel better. Oh, the snow is pretty nice up here. I felt it on the way up. Getting it was harder for me to climb. Yeah, I guess we're pretty high though. Yeah, we're 1,900 meters. I like. It's nice that it's actually dense. You don't feel the crust. Yeah, there's a decent amount on top there. You like that? Yeah. You like it? It was so fun. <laughs> it definitely worked. Yeah. yeah. How much fresh on the crust? Fresh? 
25. Uh, 25? Yeah. 20. I think we got 40. 45. I got 35. More. Almost 50. Just about 45. I can't read my numbers anymore. 76. Oh, over 50. Wow. Pretty good. How much total? You can't bang through the ice layer. Really? Wow, two, 250. What? I did not expect 270, 270 here. Can't be. That looks windless. And we're crying windless. about it. Cook that right on the sled? Mm-hmm. Not from raw. <laughs> no, it's perfect. It's, a little it's actually overdone. What Break time is over. Now we'll start dropping down. My original thought was to go down farther to the right. Doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look that good. Yeah, that was my thought too. It, just nice it doesn't look that bad, like right there. Oh, that's so doable. Yeah, we're gonna drop it. I'm not sure about the ivy danger in this section here though, because it is kind of open. I think we're good to drop. Oh yeah, this is easy peasy money. Then we go up that side. <laughs> You can tell it's a lot of elevation down that. The snow is completely different down here. That's gonna be a sweet climb out of there though.
My Lynx did this once too. It's like. <laughs> Six spot. Hey Hugo, how hot is my belt after that one? Oh, <laughs> pretty hot. <laughs> Holy crap. That wasn't even a hard pull. I stopped like five times. To make sure the drone was following me. Look at the, the bolt even. It was boiling on the bolt. Like, that's a little much. What about secondary? It's not as hot. Huh. But that primary is like scorching. It's funny how it says the bell temp is only like 45 too. See what the player's bell temp is? All right. That, it's cool. <laughs> Come on. I mean, it's not cold. Yeah, but it doesn't boil. Like not even close. It doesn't no. even melt it that fast. No. I could hold my hand on it. That, nice. Yeah, that's some poor clutching. They didn't fix those belt issues for 2025. Damn. Diva Derek's coming. Had to get pulled out by Ben. And then he just left Ben behind. <laughs> hey, Diva. As soon as we get past these last trees here, we're not going to be able to see anything. No, it looks like a bit of a sketchy ridge. Yeah, I mean. Wow, that's hard cross here. 50 on the crust. A little bit less base here at uh, two meters. So we're just gonna go up here, check out this next section. I think the tree's pretty much end right here. And uh, if it's just completely flat light up here, we're just gonna drop back down and then climb up the valley over there. <laughs> it's definitely flat light. The snow is starting. It's supposed to snow, I think, for like the next seven days, which I'm super stoked about. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty flat. It's pretty bad. I think we'll just drop back down. Like, is there much point in riding this today? Not today, but it's no. cool to know we can do it. Yeah. Come in, Cody. Same on Yeah, you can uh, go the way that we went. We're gonna drop back down the valley, so the next spot to drop in. Blood is running down the face. But the feeling is the second race. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 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 
Hey, you know you only got 30% left, right? I think so. <laughs> what do I got? Well, I got three bars, so I think that's 30% too. How far do we have to go out? I mean, I, technically we're halfway in. <laughs> and we do have some good climbing to get out. The math doesn't work. No, the math isn't mathing. Derek, I'm sure, has lots of fuel. Um, if we took 70% to get here... <laughs> I think we only need 30 to get back. I hope so. I, I still think we at least have to go up this first. I might run out of gas. That's okay. We probably should have packed fuel. I didn't... You never know. If the days you want it, then you don't have it. Yeah, the days... The days you pack it, you don't need it. I've only done 32k. I should be able to do 60. It's funny, every time I rerun out of fuel and I don't have fuel packed, people rip us apart in the comments. Why, why would you bring fuel? You know what it's like trying to pack fuel on this thing? It takes all the fun out of the riding. I just won't do wheelies and I won't bring fuel. Okay, uh oh. <laughs> you guys see that? Maybe it's just because we were climbing. Oh, you got lots! I, I didn't. I regen going down. <laughs> I'm on red. Man, I want to come back here on a bluebird day. This is be sick. You can just keep going. Yeah. Ladies first. Snow is pretty wicked up here, but we're really heading back down now. Sounds funny to say. I right, think it's two o'clock. We have quite the way to get out of here, though. Holy crap. That's sick, eh? I just pulled straight up the middle. <laughs> Wasn't it? I was barely moving. Just, I, I was like two 
doing? <laughs> we should make our Jackson Hole uh, Hill Cross up this, yeah. We should, time trial. Yeah. If only we had fuel. Yeah, true. <laughs> Come on, over here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that was a pull. That's obscenely loud. No. <laughs> I don't know. He got into a little tree there. Hear him, hear him vlogging down there. YouTubers, eh? Oh. <laughs> He's seen that video of Brett. He had to be like him, eh? Wheelie over my tunnel. Yeah! <laughs> Did I roost you or what? Come on, you're telling me you don't want to give that another go? Blew off a clutch. <laughs> Someone's primary blew off. Yeah, well that's a bit of an issue because we don't even have fuel. Or you have fuel in your truck, eh? Yeah. I guess we uh, go and find Bryce now and see what kind of player issues we're dealing with here. Got some te technical difficulties, do we? Backed up just to realign and come out. Yeah. And then just from here, a little bit of throttle. And really? Zing. Wow. So what you got there? Yep, yep. Yep. That's about right. Clutch is okay. Big sour face there. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so the stub of the bolt is broken off in the stub of the crank. Uh, what we're gonna try here is putting the sled on its side, put the sled in reverse, rev it up sometimes when we shut it back off on, and see if we get that piece to fall out of there. Cause I've heard it'll just fall out. Uh, doesn't look like it's moved at all. So much for that idea. Once again, YouTube comments are wrong. <laughs> Jason and I are headed back to the truck here. Nice 30 kilometer ride. I think we have enough fuel to make it there and back. We got two bars. Not sure why the two guys with the least amount of fuel are going back, but uh, sure. 252 now. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how long it takes the two of us to rip back out and back in. But Jason and I are headed back out to get a clutch bolt and a torque wrench. Jason, were you good? Nope, my foot's doing funky things. Oh good. What kind of funky things? I don't know if I'm running out of gas or what. Give me a minute. Nope, I'm on one lung. You're stuck on one lung? Yeah, 10-4. Is it maybe a plug? I could try changing them. Uh, how far up the hill were you? How up the drainage? Three quarters of the way up, I think. Okay, I'll just hang out here for a minute. 
I don't want to burn too much gas. This is turning into quite the day here. I, I've been having a ton of fun. Uh, this sled's working really well. Perfect snow conditions for it. Breaking into new zones here. Really fun pulls. Can't really ask for a better day. Looks like a broken plug. Thank God. Let's talk about this 146 free ride turbo here for a minute. Is it ridiculous that I got yet another snowmobile? Yeah, I, I feel, honestly, I feel ridiculous. It, it's excessive. The reason I bought it is kind of for you guys and for me. I want to put this head to head against our 146 Lynx Shredder Turbo and see which one I think is the better machine. We're going to put them head to head and see which one does better. Also, keep in mind though, it's all personal preference. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> 60K and that is it. What are you looking at there, Jason? Oh, well, guess what? Guess I'm going back by myself. Yay. If it's not one thing, it's another. Jason going through his box of goodies here, making up a shock rod shaft with a bushing. Hmm. Okay. Almost two hours later now, we got our DeWalt tools in our pack out. And we are on the road. Jason's already up ahead of us. I'm guessing we'll be back to the guys in about quarter after or 20 after five. <laughs> we did forget one thing Jason just realized a bar to hold the clutch while we torque it. Yeah. It's kind of tiring. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling it. made it a lot easier to get up these steep sections. Wait, what do you do for work, Bryce? Uh, power engineer. Is that fancy for a desk job? <laughs> no, a plant operator. Okay. I was gonna say, if he's like a roofer, get out of the way. <laughs> that was your plug from the way out? Yeah. You brought two bolts? The install bolt and then the clutch bolt. The one See, I, you... I didn't know you needed two bolts to install a clutch. Yeah, apparently. It's one time use only. What? Yeah. The install bolt? Yeah. That's what it said on my bag. Oh, oh it's going. No way. It is, I swear to God. Brake's turning. Hold the brake. turning over. Someone hold the brake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, yeah. yeah. Somebody, uh, no. Think work. about this. Think about it. The other one. No, it'll come what right is now. it out of a crank brake or what? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to start it up. Oh, look at it. I thought he was joking. I thought he was too. And I, was <laughs> I was actually being serious for a second. <laughs> yeah, this is you? the face of a bored loser. <laughs> Where's the music? <laughs> oh. Hey dude, it's not like you were doing the not doing the maintenance this morning. You're going oh, oh there we are. Cool. But we are back in action. <laughs> Somebody lost his side panel. Look at Derek. Nice enough to pick it up. <laughs>
<laughs> Cody got exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Cody oh. dying. Holy hell. Great first day back up there today. Probably could have used without the extra in and out. But uh, all in all, good day. Everybody made it back to the truck. Free ride worked well. And uh, it's snowing. How you feeling, Derek? So good, dude. Want to go back up? <laughs>